Hey, what is up guys, it is Sofasan here and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the Dragon Ball Super episode 74. So Jacko fires off his cannon beam blast basically and it creates a huge explosion in the sky and so pretty much Gohan reveals that it's him, it's actually him and not Wadagash and so pretty much um... Jacko pretty much explains to him what Wadagash is and pretty much explains the whole backstory there on how he possesses people depending on how evil they are and whatnot and they become really powerful and such and so pretty much Gohan saying like oh I'll go ask you know my dad Goku and stuff like that and he's just like no you gotta keep it a secret and so basically um Gohan and Coco pretty much go back to her house her building and pretty much they're just reciting lines and such until pretty much there's this short flashback where her and um Barry and pretty much Barry tells her to um you know lure go on to her house and whatnot so that then he could pretty much create a type of scandal so that then Gohan will pretty much be out of you know the movie and whatnot and so that then he could pretty much ruin his family and such and then pretty much it cuts back to the present time to where Coco actually kisses Gohan and so pretty much Right as that happens, Barry's pretty much hiding off somewhere, taking pictures of it, trying to blackmail Gohan. And so basically, Gohan flies away all embarrassed and whatnot. He flies back home, and then pretty much right when he gets there, Barry comes in, and pretty much he shows all the evidence that he found and whatnot, pretty much trying to make Gohan look like a fraud, look like a cheater, basically. And then so pretty much he shows it to Videl, who instantly pretty much just realizes, oh, you know, that's not true, that's fake and whatnot. Gohan would never do something like that, which I thought was pretty cool to see, especially the face that Barry made. He was like all types of shocked and whatnot. And so pretty much um, he was just saying like, oh, well, I'll reveal that he's, you know, the great Saiyan man and whatnot, and then have everybody... Um, you know, hound him and whatnot, all the paparazzis and such, and so pretty much Gohan actually, you know, goes up to him and he's like, get out, you might wake up Pan and whatnot, and so pretty much he like, he doesn't push him out, he just like pushes him up against the wall getting kind of serious about it, which I thought was pretty epic too, and so basically after that happens, Barry is pretty much ticked off at this point, pretty much frustrated about what happened, Wishing that he could, you know, get back at him, get his revenge, until pretty much the Wadagash parasite pretty much infests him, then he pretty much bursts in through the wall and pretty much just like pounds Gohan into one of the walls and then he throws him across the room and then pretty much he takes Pan hostage basically, putting her on top of a building and so basically Gohan obviously goes after them as Great Saiyan Man and pretty much he starts fighting Barry who pretty much keeps getting stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger. The director comes by and pretty much starts filming this as part of the movie and so pretty much Gohan's getting beaten up by the monster until pretty much Jacko comes by and is about to fire off his cannon beam again but pretty much Gohan says no that I'll kill him and he doesn't want to see Pan you know see someone getting killed so pretty much he goes in, but he pretty much gets knocked back, and so basically, Pan and Videl pretty much start saying like, oh, they believe in Gohan, and that they know that he'll win, and whatnot, and so pretty much, he starts, you know, getting his act together, and he powers up into a Super Saiyan, which kind of reminded me of, um, Battle of Gods, not in Dragon Ball Super, but in the movie, that part where he was fighting, um, Beerus, Goku, and pretty much, um, you know, he came back and then he turned into a Super Saiyan God at the last part of the um, fight pretty much and absorbed the blast. It kind of reminded me of that in a sense, like at least the um, powering up part, you know, but pretty much he powers up into a Super Saiyan and pretty much goes in, fires off a Kamehameha or what he called it, the Great Saiyan Man Beam, I believe. And so pretty much he's pretty much wiped out um, White Gosh and... The movie is made with pretty much everyone watching it, you know, Goku, Chi-Chi, Goten, you know, pretty much the whole family, basically. And then, 
pretty much after that we cut back to Jacko in a pretty similar scene to the um last episode to the beginning of last episode um you know him pretty much eating at that um little restaurant and whatnot from before and then pretty much them like kind of like um foreshadowing the whole water gosh breaking out again basically and then that was pretty much the episode i mean it was all right i guess you know in terms of filler it wasn't bad or anything like that i thought the animation and whatnot was pretty um good you know throughout the whole thing it wasn't bad or anything like that no um messed up faces or like um anything really it wasn't that bad in my opinion also, I thought it was pretty cool to see Videl fly a little bit again. Haven't seen that in a minute. I thought it was a pretty cool filler act, especially um, seeing up to what's going to come up later and whatnot, you know, the next big arc and stuff like that. And I can't wait to see what the next episode's going to be like, you know, Goku and Krillin and whatnot. That should be pretty interesting. But tell me what you guys thought of these episodes. Did you guys like them? Did you hate them? Do you guys think that Gohan's, you know, a lot more cooler than he was, you know, um, a few arcs ago or whatever? And yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. So until the next one, Silver Sun is out.